The system is failing. We're going to have more homelessness, more unemployment, and the government has to print more money. It's a command and control economy where the government tells you everything. I just don't trust our government. You know, and they're going to have to start printing pretty quickly. And the more they print, the less value purchasing power the dollar has, or the loonie, or the yen, or the peso. People are talking about inflation. I think we're in depression right now, and we're going to be a biggest depression in world history. In the 1970s, that's when the world was changing. The biggest bust in the history of the world is coming up. It's pensions. They trusted the government. They trusted their pension would be there, and it's going to go bust. And that's us. We get crushed. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Bearable Bull here. And I got this aggressively average content for you today. As guys, in today's video, we're going to discuss the number one lesson that I think a lot of people have learned from this recent crypto crash. This is something that I believe every single one of you should begin implementing in one way, shape, or form, whatever best suits your situation is how you should implement this. Ladies and gentlemen, 95% of you that follow my channel and the vast majority of my personal clients, they are relatively unfazed by this crypto crash. The issue is, some people are frustrated because they did not have some cash on the side in order to be able to purchase this recent downturn. Ladies and gentlemen, I understand. Personally speaking, I'm financially stretched at this moment in time as well. I did not have any personal money to buy the dip, but I told all of you that over the past week, I had been allocating portion of my business reserves to be able to buy this dip. 50% of these reserves have been allocated to buying crypto during these rock bottom prices and the remaining 50% is on standby just in case the price crashes just a little further before we head back up. All that aside, I believe the number one thing every single person in this community needs to be aiming for is cash flow. Cash flow in 2022 and beyond is king if you consistently have cash flowing in through different sources of income it will act like the blood through your financial veins that'll keep you constantly breathing through the worst case scenarios ladies and gentlemen that's the only reason i was able to make some purchases recently and that's the only way a lot of people feel much more confident about being an investor, especially in the crypto market, the most volatile market on the planet. Ladies and gentlemen, what I'm showing you on the screen right now is the most recent 8.3% inflation numbers. This is extremely high, and while they're gradually raising interest rates, this is not stopping the rate of inflation. All this will eventually do is cause some disinflation, meaning we'll have slightly lower levels than what we have now. But that doesn't matter. The reason it doesn't matter is because the US dollar, having cash in your accounts, is still a guaranteed loss. You are a guaranteed loser if you continuously just have cash on the side. Grant Cardone says every time he has cash on the side, he's always looking for an investment to throw that into. And while there are better times than others to enter markets at lower entry points and get great positions, cash is dead. You must have investments and active sources of passive income or active income. That is the strength. Cash flow is king. Because at the bare minimum, if you have money flowing in, you can buy the dip when it comes. 
I understand the disempowering feeling of having put some money in at slightly higher entry points than other people and then watching it crash to levels that we see today in just a couple days time. We all want to buy the dip, but sometimes we just have to wait and use these types of moments as motivation to be able to generate new sources of income. You see guys, there's this cliche and it goes a little something like this. Millionaires have on average seven sources of income. And while that is true, the way they got to be a millionaire was through one main concentrated vehicle. And then after you get there, you diversify into different income sources to be more secure and more safe. So what I'll say to all of you that have been struggling over the past couple days, you will get there. We will come out of the other side of this crypto crash unscathed, actually emboldened, and crypto OGs. Like I said before, I'll say again, this was the most legendary crash in the crypto market I've seen in my lifetime. And you guys that are new survived it. Well done. Now, ladies and gentlemen, with that being said, I'm going to keep the rest of this video brief. But remind all of you that after nasty crashes, that is usually when the biggest opportunities arrive. And Blockchain Backer posted this earlier today. We watched the DXY and the Euro versus US dollar as the Euro is within the basket of currencies that the US dollar is measured against in the DXY. It is weird that we finally hit that exact level. May 12th, the crypto high volume dump. The reason I point this out is because it's very possible that the crypto crash may be over. Personally, I've been hearing that the next two days will be volatile as well. So after that, we will be 100% in the clear. But regardless, right now, you all need to understand that we are positioned perfectly for this reversal. We are seeing magnificent lows that I never expected us to see. And even with XRP specifically, this may be the best buying opportunity you guys have left. I think we may have found some new support as shown here. We still have to wait and see, but I'll continue to be here every single day trying to instill the confidence that you will need to remember that you own life-changing assets. Hold strong, my friends. We're all gonna make it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Bearable Bull here. Thanks for tuning in. As always, I appreciate every single one of you. Now I'll be back tomorrow with another video.